Hello everyone, it's Farkad here. And in this video, I'm gonna provide you with an ultimate guide to blocking in the forest. Now, just so you know, I started making this video over two years ago. The footage is very old, though I've confirmed it's still up to date. They haven't changed the blocking since. There's some very interesting findings in this, such as depending on your health will depend how much you actually block. It's really strange. Though, let's get into it. Now, first off, is block worth it? Very much so. It is very effective at negating damage. When you have armor on and you're blocking, most of the time you won't even take any damage at all. Now, originally I tested this using free roaming cannibals, as in they were running around and attacking me, though the results are too inconsistent and a lot of the time they were killing me. Painted cannibals were the toughest cannibals back then, but then they added the masked cannibal, which is actually quite a bit tougher. So I was able to come up with a better way to test it, and that was trapping them in noose traps. Now, four cannibals here, all painted cannibals, all the same except their weapons. One has clubs, one has a crafted axe, one has a crafted club, and the other has a tennis racket. I did this to determine if the weapon they had did different damage. And all their weapons do the same damage except for the ones with the club, which is strange because the club does the most damage out of all these weapons. They also do the same amount of damage when they're in a noose trap compared to when they're not. For consistency purposes, I used the cannibal with a tennis racket. So it was very good for testing this. Plus, I do find it amusing getting beaten to death by a cannibal with a tennis racket. There's something about it that just gets me off. Though if you're wondering how much damage the club does compared to the other ones, it does about 10% less. Now, 10% less doesn't sound a lot, though with the modern axe, it's able to negate all the damage. Though on all their other weapons, you'll still take a little bit of damage. Now, if you're not blocking, a single hit from one of these cannibals with a tennis racket will do 63 damage. They also do the same amount of damage from the side and if you're hit from behind. So they don't have like a backstab damage if they hit you while you're undefended. So it doesn't matter where they hit you from. Most weapons can block with the exception of the weak spear, upgraded spear, incinerary spear, and the upgraded rock. If you want to include animal heads and other stuff like that, you can. They can't block either. Fun fact about the upgraded rock, it actually used to say it had max block, but it couldn't block at all. Now I tested every weapon that could block and I'm going to start from worst to best. The worst is the katana and the machete. They both have the exact same type of block. Even though it says that they've got no block in the inventory, they actually still block quite a bit of damage. So it's still worth blocking with them if you can. Now, the interesting part about the health thing, from 100 to 60 health, your block is at its lowest. And then you start blocking more damage the lower your health gets until you get to 10 health and then your block reverts back to the 100 to 60 range. It's really confusing. I'm not sure how to work this out. I've actually spoken to guys who are good at maths and they can't even work it out. So basically your block is best between 60 health and 10 health. That you should be blocking at all times. The next one I tested was a bone. Now it's not really a weapon, but I thought I'll test it for consistency purposes because it might be able to narrow down what the percentages are of the block. It does block a little bit more damage than the katana and machete. Though overall the bone is pretty bad, I can't imagine anyone's going to be using it to block. The next one is the plain axe. Now the plain axe is a bit better than the bone, machete and katana, though not by much. I have a spreadsheet with all these numbers written out, so if you're interested in trying to figure out the calculations behind this, make sure you contact me in the Discord and I'll send it to you. Next I tested the leg, uh, another weapon that I cannot imagine you're going to be blocking with, but it goes down in 5 increments, then 4, then 3 then two, etc. Now, a lot of the time before I get down the 10, I step away because I didn't really want to die. It was a pain in the butt to do it because then I'd have to set up the noose trap again because the cannibals would escape by the time I returned. To show you what actual damage is going on, I've placed the numbers up on the side of how much damage you take per hit. So first hit, second hit, etc. The next weapon is a tennis racket. Now, this weapon's fairly okay for blocking. It's actually one of my favorite weapons in the game because of its unique ability. It barely uses any stamina when you're swinging it. So you can actually get to a point where you can swing it non-stop and never run out of stamina. Once the cannibal got me down to 14 health, my health wouldn't go any lower. So I must have been at its max block. It's somewhere around there. But remember, if you're under 10 health, the block goes to its weakest point again. Now, this is the block for the normal stick, not the upgraded stick. It actually blocks less damage than the upgraded stick. The block on it is exactly the same as the tennis racket. So apparently, according to Forest logic, if you add a piece of cloth to a stick, it will block a lot more damage. I'm not sure why. All this testing was done on hard mode. This was actually before hard survival was added. Though hard and hard survival, the enemies do the exact same damage and they have the exact same health. It's just the survival features that are different between the two. The next one is the arm. This one actually blocks quite a bit of damage, more than the leg and all the other weapons beforehand, obviously. 
So what I found interesting about it is that after I went below 60 health, the percentages didn't really change until I got to around 48 health. I was still only taking two damage up until 48 hit points, and then it went down to one. Once the arm got down to 24 health, it was able to block all damage. Now we're moving on to the weapons that block a lot of damage. These are the weapons that you really want to block with if you can. The first one's the upgraded stick. It blocks almost all damage. You only take one hit point worth of damage from 100 to 60, then anything below 60 you take no damage. Also, upgrades on weapons have no effect on the block of a weapon. So if you got max feathers, it's going to block the same amount of damage as max teeth or glass. The next is the crafted axe, and it does the exact same amount of block as the upgraded stick. So from 100 to 60 you take one point of damage, then after that you won't take any damage. It is one of the worst weapons in the game. At least it's got decent block. I still think they should make the crafted axe a throwing axe. That would make me happy. So these weapons don't have max block, like the rusty axe, turtle shell, and club. Though the amount of damage you're blocking, it really doesn't matter. The way I could explain it is that the club, rusty axe, and turtle shell block 100% of damage. These weapons block 99% of damage. That's pretty much how it is. Next one is the crafted club. It does the same amount of block as upgraded stick and crafted axe. The crafted club's an alright weapon. It's good that you can get it almost straight away as soon as you start the game as it's only one stick and a skull and you just take down an effigy to get a skull. Now if you're used to normal mode rather than hard and hard survival, enemies do a lot less damage on normal mode. But if you go to hard and hard survival, the damage is so much more. So blocking is much more effective there. The next is the modern axe. It has the same block as upgraded stick, crafted axe, and crafted club. In terms of realism, the weapons have the weapons have strange block amounts. For example, the upgraded stick is just a stick with cloth on it, whereas uh, modern axe is a big hunk of steel, and they both block the same amount. It doesn't make sense. Just so you know, the modern axe is my favorite weapon in the game. It has the best overall stats. Now, I should mention this. I did test this using the ultimate cheat menu with mod API. That way, I could actually see the exact numbers. Because stopping after every hit to open a book would take a very long time. Now the bar down the bottom is just a video editing technique. I've just cut it out and enlarged it from the ultimate cheat menu box up the top left. Just so you know that the ultimate cheat menu doesn't affect the block at all. I did test this normally beforehand. The main reason I put the bar down the bottom is that I recorded this in 4K. And as you can see from the top left, it's very difficult to read what's going on up there. Now moving on to the max block weapons. No matter what happens, you're going to block 100% of damage. Even if you get hit by a, even if you get hit by an Armsy or a Virginia, and these are the club, rusty axe, and turtle shell. There's not much more to say about these weapons. Like I mentioned, they block 100% of damage. The ones before it block 99%. These are the kind of weapons you want to use if you're stuck in a tunnel in a cave and you want to cause the enemies to hit each other. These are the ones you want to use because you can stand there forever and block, and you won't take any damage. Providing they don't get behind you. Now, not every type of damage is blockable. I don't know if blockable is a word, but let's just go with it. If a cowman charges at you or stomps, you're going to take damage. You can't block fire damage either. You can block the babies leaping at you. I highly recommend you block with them because they will mess you up. They've got a lot of damage behind them. You also can't block drowning damage. I'm not sure why though. Also with fall damage, you can't block that. So those are all the weapons I tested. I'm pretty sure I've got them all. Now this is moving on to armor. If you block while you've got armor, you pretty much negate all damage. It doesn't seem to matter what type of armor you're wearing either. Back when I recorded this, I even tested with deer armor, which was just deer skin that you could wear as armor, and that even negated all the damage. Now here I'm testing what angles you can block at, and you can block most of what's in front of you. Though pretty much once you get to 90 degrees to the side, that's when you can't block. So if they hit you from the side when you're blocking, you're still going to take full damage. You cannot block from behind or from the side. I also tested if blocking changes if you're facing a different direction to them, and it doesn't affect it. If you successfully block an attack, it's going to block it all. So it doesn't matter which angle you're blocking at, if you successfully block, it's just going to block it. If that makes sense. I don't know how to word that one. If you're under 10 health, even with the 99% block weapons, you're actually going to regenerate faster than they can damage you, which is quite good to know. Now, this won't work well with a katana or machete. An easy way to tell what you can block is if you've got your field of view at its lowest, so you're closer to your body, if that makes sense. I don't know how else to explain it. Pretty much everything you can see on your screen, you can block. That's pretty much it. The enemies move around though, so keep that in mind. Now, someone said a long time ago that you could block with your turtle shell if you had it in your backpack. It would sit on your back, but that's not true. You can't even assign it to your backpack. Though the concept is kind of neat. Just something I haven't actually tested is if a cowman 
charges or belly flops or stomps near you, where the block actually reduces the damage. That's something I actually forgot to test. I'll need to find that one out. That's it. Sorry it took me a while to get this video out. It was part of the series of videos I was doing, testing all the things like damage, range, upgrades, all that sort of thing. I spent so long on the project that I just got so sick of it and <laughs> I gave up on it. Though I kept the footage because I knew I was going to finish it eventually. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.